I've had a wonderful experience thus far. I don't know why I didn't hire, I don't know, two years ago. I think it'd be in a different place if we had. My name is Nai Tanaka, and we have a, co a company doing college admissions counseling. Long story short, what that means is in the States, it's extremely difficult to get into top universities. So what we do is we work with, with students one-to-one -one for about four years of their high school experience, and we prep them to get into universities in America with a less than 10% acceptance rate. A lot of was going on in the business, and I can't even tell you what was going on because everything, I felt like there were five 10, 20, 30 balls in the air that I was trying to juggle. But for instance, there's a lot of things. I'm uh, managing our clients. We had, you know, tools and whatnot to do that, but the tools were becoming unruly. Things were, all the balls that were in the air were basically falling to the ground. Even the onboarding process for clients, I was doing all of that, creating an experience for the clients that was seamless that kept the students on track because what we do is we work with students one-to-one. -one. So we wanted to make sure that students knew what they were working on in order to excel in high school. We want to make sure that parents were in the loop because obviously these are minors. So we want to make sure that parents understood what's happening as well. And all of that was done 100% manually by, by me and a VA. I was extremely overwhelmed by the entire process. I didn't know where to start. I didn't even know how to look. I was overwhelmed with how exactly to do it. Number one, talking to you was actually very, very helpful. You gave me tips that made me think, okay, this is how I want to structure the hiring process. For instance, doing a test project, which is obvious, but even how to pay, a like how to pay somebody overseas via test project, how to even pay them. Should I pay them after the test project is done? Should we do two test projects? All these things, it was actually incredibly helpful to talk to you about it, period. So that was great. You had mentioned that I created a Loom video or just a video in general in the job application form. I was never even thought about doing that, but I saw after talking to you, it actually made sense to do that. So I think in doing that, that also helped. And the candidate I ultimately hired remarked on that video. I had also asked for candidates to put a video up as well. That was your recommendation. So as part of the screener, right, they had to do a little two minute video. I didn't think candidates would do it, but ultimately the people that actually I decided to go move forward with it, they took the time out of their day to craft a well thoughtful message that was very helpful and ultimately the candidate that I ended up hiring said hey that video that you made it made me want to make a video it made me want to even go through this process because I felt something tangible in my presence in the video all those things I didn't know to do per se in, in doing so in looking back and talking to you about it it was so clear that all those pieces had to come together to find the right candidate In terms of the other places, I felt like there was a lot of volume coming in. On the one hand, that was great because it was helpful to see that there was volume. However, the talent, I would say, was not well filtered. And that was a problem slash that took a lot of my time to filter out the talent. In terms of job rack, what was great was that the filtering process felt a lot more thoughtful. It felt more high quality, that it gave me less time to have to sift through. And I ultimately interviewed a decent number of people from job rack. I got the sense that the people that did the job rack application, they were more willing to do the video, the initial video as part of the screener. She's an operations manager, so She's supposed to do everything. I assign projects to her that are honestly pretty amorphous. And I say, I know it's amorphous. I think this is the direction that makes sense for this project given my experience, but she just runs with it. When I hired her, I didn't know just how capable she was. And she created an Airtable dashboard 100% from scratch. She had very, few, like very little Airtable experience in the past. I knew she had Google Spreadsheets experience, pretty good because I was part of the screener. But uh, the Airtable was was a pleasant surprise, and she's absolutely doing wonderful creating that dashboard. She's doing now recruiting for, for us as well. And after this entire process hiring for her, I realized that there's more of an SOP, a more of a standardized way of doing so. So she's creating that standardized SOP for us to continue hiring, not operations people, but more coaches for us. And that's a whole different hiring process, obviously. So uh, she's doing that. And literally anything, what I call fires that happen day to day, I just say, hey, can you look into this? And I don't know, I wake up and it's, it's, it's been fixed. It's like magic. Definitely, definitely try for sure. Because I've had a wonderful experience thus far. I don't know why I didn't hire, I don't know, two years ago. I think it'd be in a different place if we had. I would say absolutely go for it.